Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite and Anil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel tonight. It's very much appreciated. I'm going to be doing a Scorpio reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. For some reason, I've got cards that don't belong in this deck here. Oh, very interesting, Scorpio. all make sense I guess all right all right Scorpio bear in mind it is a um a general reading Scorpio so it won't um it won't be for everybody okay right. you know these three cards that weren't meant to be in this deck Scorpio indicates that um you are pretty much Coming in as the wounded warrior uh, because you someone may have left you feeling left out in the cold that um, you've got this protection that is coming in and it's kind of like built a wall around you all right um, one of your spirit guides has got long dark hair this may be a friend of yours somebody that you were very close to somebody that's been watching you for a while now okay and i feel like this person is in spirit and the other one is coming in as an empress energy so i feel it might be your mother or your grandmother but you've got very two very strong spirit guides that um have come in to help you because of somebody leaving you left out in the cold okay Scorpio. all right so Scorpio. Right, before I get into today's card, Scorpio, I'm going to um, going to go intuitively a little bit on this, okay? Right, Scorpio, I feel that there was somebody who left you feeling left out in the cold, Scorpio. I feel like that this person uh, may have turned their, their back on you, Scorpio, and uh, they may have gone towards uh, other parties, other energies. They may have been married. They may, may have been, you know, connected to another family or, um, you know, they gravitated to... Um, something that made more sense to them in, in, a, in a more easier way, even though that they were connected to you, Scorpio, all right? Um, look, Scorpio, it's very hard to hide anything from you, okay? Your intuition is so high that nothing really gets past you unless you want it to go past you, just for the sake of keeping the peace, okay? But I feel that you were innocent in all this to a certain degree, okay? Now, if you're involved in a third, third party, that doesn't make you innocent. What makes you innocent is the fact that you had no intention of uh, interfering directly with the marriage, okay? It was a mutual agreement between you and this person, and it wasn't supposed to affect this person's marriage at all, okay? But I feel that, you know, time together, a lot of time together, feelings started to grow, I feel this person did not have um, the ability or they, they may have stepped into some fear, okay? And, um, you know, they didn't have the, the strength to really tell you the truth, uh, but you felt the third party energy, Scorpio, you felt it because you're so connected um, to this person, Scorpio, because you've had a lot of cycles with this person, a lot of cycles, okay? And they keep doing the same thing to you all the time. And every time you have hope in this situation, uh, Scorpio, you know, they have a way of making you feel depleted, okay? And I feel like that you're just over it, Scorpio. You, you're just so over it, okay? Um I, I kind of feel like you now see this person in a different light. Um, 
that you know you thought that they were strong courageous you know a, a real i'm going to say a man you know a man's man but you're now seeing that they they've got too much ego too much pride very flamboyant very egotistical you know um you know and and you're a realist scorpio you know you see things for what they are this person is like you know um mentally tries to convince themselves that they're happy when they're not okay so them gravitating back towards either the marriage or another third person that has very much similarities to their partner okay um and whatever happened between uh these two um i feel that I feel the presence is still there. I do feel that the presence is still there, okay? So they, this other third party might still be around, uh, you know, a part of their life here and there, okay? They haven't completely left their life. But whoever they're married to, they're still there, okay? But they might be there, but they're not happy. From what I can see, they're not happy, okay? So, um, when it comes to you, Scorpio, I feel like you're done. Even though I feel like that you had you had hope, you had hope in this situation, Scorpio. Okay, but you know, definitely a lot of things came to your awareness. Okay, um, and came to your attention, came to your attention as well. Okay, um, and if this person went towards financial. Um, gain or, or stability well they were absolutely wrong Scorpio because the gift of abundance and prosperity is yours okay um, they may be watching you Scorpio they might be watching your social media they might be seeing that you're achieving your goals and that you you know you're determined to um, get to a certain place where um you're well known for either what you do or people just know you you might be a healer you might be you know a, an intuitive reader um but i'm going to tell you something scorpio you know whatever happened you have found your freedom you have found your freedom okay so in this case scorpio i think you should count your blessings i really think you should count your blessings okay um because, you know, you may not feel that you're doing anything right now, but you are. You are. So um, I feel like that you're going to start taking um, pleasure in, in, in simple things in life, okay? This person doesn't know about simple things in life. You know about simple things. You know that the simple things are the things that create the memories. And you know that the simple things are, are pretty much what makes you happy. Because I feel like this person just wants more and more and more. You were a very big lesson to this person. See, here's the thing. that I kind of feel that the universe did bring you two together for a reason. Okay? Uh, and when this behaviour started, the, the, your spirit guide stepped in and said, no, this person doesn't deserve the gift. Okay? And they, they separated you and this person because... Um, you were given a gift from, from the universe and you, you were supposed to share it with your soulmate or twin flame. And this soulmate or twin flame just didn't understand the connection whatsoever. All right. So they went towards somebody who had financial stability and they also went towards a third party that may have financial stability. Okay. So I think now, Scorpio, you are going to surrender to the outcome of this, okay? You're releasing your expectations on this and you're just going to find an easy path forward and you're going to learn to dance again. You're going to learn to balance yourself out again, okay? You're going to indulge a little more um, or a little less, okay? So you will be setting boundaries, especially within your work area. You don't want disturbance because... Um, the gift that you were given, Scorpio, if this person didn't want to join you with this gift, then your spirit guides are going to make sure that you don't get disturbed, that you need to reach a certain level. 
okay, and a certain level of awareness, a certain level of intuition, a certain level of, um, you know, the ability to to open up gifts in you that you possibly don't know that you have, okay? Um, I think that you were quite patient with this person, okay? That you thought that maybe they may come back, they may apologize to you, but it, sorry seems to be the hardest word, okay, for, for this person. Or either somebody's got some sort of spell work on them and their throat chakra is totally blocked that they can't even talk to you but i do feel that they do you know look on your social media um either maybe you've got them blocked or they got you blocked but um, at one point or somehow either they unblock you and they they're able to see things and then they block you again and you may be asleep during this time you don't know that they've done this okay or they've got another account a fake account somewhere okay um but you're going to give life to your dreams, Scorpio. And I do feel that, you know, a lot of you have um, have dreamt that this situation was going to happen and you actually know the outcome. You actually know that eventually that this marriage, whoever this person is with, is not going to last. And you know that they will eventually come towards you. But by then, Scorpio, there will be somebody else in your life somebody that is willing to um, go the distance with you, somebody who is uh, committed, emotionally available, okay? And, um, you know, that you're willing to, this person is willing to go into the future with you, Scorpio, all right? Because you're tired of waiting for this person, you're tired, you know, even if they came back in, you're not going to make it easy for them, okay? Because I feel like it was just too easy. You went with the flow, you, you know, you gave this person love, you gave them attention, you gave them anything that you had to offer, you gave it to them. You even shared a gift with this person. But the universe is now telling you to, you know, look for the gift in this situation. You know, um, this has been quite a challenge for you. But you're going to get through it to the other side, Scorpio. I feel like that you're going to, okay? Um, I feel like there's, you know, a lot of things that are going to open up for you, especially in the month of May, okay? Because you've ended a nine-year cycle and you're heading into a new, you know, the a, a period of um, lots of blessings that are going to come your way. The partner that you want is going to come your way. All this nine years, past nine years, okay, has been nothing but a nightmare for you, Scorpio. Always struggling, always wanting to stand, you know, trying to stand on your feet, support yourself, work, work as hard as you can, just so you don't need to ask for help, okay? Um, and all that right now, this cycle that it's going to end, okay, um, is going to bring a lot of positive outcomes your way, okay? So you will be able to celebrate your success, Scorpio, okay? All right, so you need to get out in nature more. Get back out there with your friends. Just get back out there with your friends, okay? And surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time, you know, socialising at least, okay? This person finds you sexy, or you're bringing sexy back, <laughs> okay? There's something about you, Scorpios, especially in your eyes. Your eyes are just uh, amazing. They're alluring and, you know, you need to see the inner beauty of, of yourself because I feel like this person made you, always made you feel that you were never good enough, that, um, you know, they were, you know, just wasting your time, and uh, even though, look, even though you had an agreement with this person, your love did grow, okay? And I feel like before this person got married, that there was plenty of opportunity for this person to come towards you, and they didn't. They didn't, okay? They always gravitate to what can make them comfortable, you know? And I kind of feel like they do envy you, Scorpio, because, you know, you're always standing on your own two feet, you know, and they, they probably wonder, how do you do it? But you're a good person, Scorpio. You know, you've got 
um, spirit guides that will always support you, always support you. You know, you will never go without, even if it's little, it's not without, all right? And you need to be, you know, a little bit more feeling a little bit more worthy about yourself, okay? So you need to believe um, you are worth all the abundance, okay? And there isn't going to be a gift that is coming to you soon, Scorpio. It is going to be given to you, okay? But you need to release your past life karma first, okay? Um, because I kind of feel like a lot of you are just uh, old souls, you know? You've got a lot of wisdom and you've got a lot of, um, you know, um, healing hands. I want to say it's healing hands, okay? Um, you know, and you just have this presence about you when people talk to you it's like all of a sudden they're opening up to you and you're just dumb, dumbfounded that people are telling you their deepest darkest secrets and you don't even really want to know them you don't want to know but uh you're there and you're listening and you're very uh compassion you have a lot of compassion you might be an empath okay um and if you are an empath then please make sure that you have an animal, a cat or a dog, okay? Um, because if you're not meditating, if you're not clearing this energy, then I suggest that you have a cat or a dog, okay? Because every time you hold that cat or um, hug that dog, they're, they're releasing all that negative energy from you, okay? And the animal, don't worry, the animal knows how to handle it. They go out and they shit in the woods and release it, okay? Um, but you need to raise your vibration a little bit, Scorpio, because I feel like you've been down for a long time. You've been upset about this situation. Um, you know, maybe that's just the way that you heal. Um, and you know, you're, you're almost there, Scorpio, you're almost there. Okay. Believe in your, in your possibilities, Scorpio. You know, you need to give yourself permission to dream. Don't, don't let people kill your dreams, okay? You have done so well since this person has left your life, you know. You've done so well financially. You've done so well with, um, you know, growing and, and um, you know, I don't know. You're just a beautiful soul, Scorpio. What can I tell you, you know? Even, even in your darkest hour, you know, you're still helping people. You're still um, trying to, you know, give the right advice or be there for others, okay? Um, but, um, you know, if, if you're angry, Scorpio, you need to transform that anger to use it as a positive source, okay? And at the end of the day, Scorpio, as much as you don't want to hear this, you need to forgive this person, okay? Because we're all human, we all make mistakes, but this was a very big mistake in your eyes, I understand that, okay? But forgiving this person is going to set you free, all right? Just be gentle with yourself. You need to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So I feel like for some of you, you are going to be traveling, you are going to take some time out. Um, you've spent a lot of time on your own and meditating and, um, you know, but now it's time to be with other people, you know, and even family, okay? Um, I kind of feel, Scorpio, that if you, if you have started a business, okay, you've got so much growth and expansion that is coming your way. I don't have the card for it, but what I'm feeling is that you're going to have to get people to work with you, Scorpio, because you're not going to be able to keep up. So you're going to organise a team. You're going to organise a team of people, okay? People that maybe have high intuition like you, okay? Um, and I feel like that, um, you know, you will... Um, you're going to find out through word of mouth more than... Um, more than uh, searching, okay? So you will ask people, you know, have you had a reading? You know, have you, uh, what do you think of this reader or whatever? But there's there's a team that's gonna be set up. This is gonna grow, Scorpio. It's not where you are at the moment, you know, just working on your own and, and just doing, no. 
Whatever it is you're doing, go with your intuition and it is going to grow. You're going to find people that are coming in and they're going to work with you, not against you. Okay? I feel like this person was working against you. And I do feel that maybe you may have um, mentioned it to this person to um, to join you to, to help things grow. You've got a lot of ideas, Scorpio, but there's a lot of things that you can't do on your own. And um, I feel like that you were given this person in your life to, to open this together, okay, and to grow in many ways. You would have been a very powerful sort of force, but, you know, they allowed... Um, they allowed other people to get involved and they um, they um, gave up on, on uh, the things that you taught them, Scorpio. So that's it. You're not going to be teaching this person anymore because you feel that in this toxic behaviour that they are in, that they can use this as a dark force, as a dark energy, whereas you come in as the light, okay? So if they use it as a dark force energy, they will, they will use it against you. They will ruin you, okay? I feel like this person wanted to ruin you for some reason, okay? Or whoever they're partnered with wants to ruin you, okay? You've got a lot of possibilities that are coming your way, so raise your standard, Scorpio. You're above this person. You're not below this person, okay? you got a lot of abundance and blessings that are coming your way, Scorpio. So, you know, embrace that and be patient. It is going to come. But I think, Scorpio, that, you know, you have um, elevated and, and you're totally aware that there can be no light without the darkness, okay? Even in the, in, in the dark, the moon shines its light. But you are a person that knows how to deal with the light and the dark and you do not mix that energy okay and i feel like this person um you know rubbed you up such the, uh, the wrong way that your scorpio energy just went bang okay and you did not hold back and you don't like being in that energy, Scorpio, because you know that once you go into that energy, you're gonna you're gonna slam a door shut. And you know, I kind of feel like this person just kept repeating, repeating, repeating all their bad habits and all their insecurities, and you know, too scared to to be standing on their own two feet. You know, they need they need other people to. Um, to be there and support them like you know um, they want stability they want finances but like i said you've got a lot of growth and you've got a lot of support okay and you've got people that are coming in that are going to help you okay um yeah, your spirit guides are, are telling you to take baby steps okay um take baby steps as you as you as you grow and be willing to learn from others Scorpio maybe there's a lesson that you can learn from this person but I kind of feel like it's not the kind of lesson that you really want to know and the, you know because I feel like you 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 work with your heart Scorpio when you when you feel a connection between somebody whether it's sexual or not you you feel that connection okay um if you don't feel that connection, you, you would not stick around. But you felt it with this person. You felt their pain. You felt their their love. You felt the, the tenderness. And you also saw the wild side of them that really, you know, you enjoyed, Scorpio. But um, it started to become a little bit abusive, I, I'm feeling. You know, like this could have gone 50 shades of grey, if not worse. You know, so... Um, you know, if you're not going to get anything in return after giving so much, forget it, Scorpio. You're you're not going to stick around. Make a wish, Scorpio. Okay. It's a lot of magic that surrounds you right now, so make a wish. Okay. All right. So I feel like you are moving in the right direction, Scorpio, and you are using your discernment on on a lot of things here Scorpio okay um, and all may not be what it seems but you are going to be able to put the missing pieces together Scorpio 
All right. Now, this person, because they didn't take the gift, because they didn't move forward with you, I think you should prepare yourself for your lifelong partner because they're about to come in. Okay. Uh, romance is returning into, into your relationship. Okay. Believe that you are lovable. Believe that this is coming because it's indicating that whoever it is that's coming in is going to be your long life partner. And I feel like this is some sort of a leader. Okay. Somebody who inspires you, somebody who, um, you know, who wants to connect with you on a, on a deeper level, Scorpio. Okay. Um, this person may come to you, you may heal them, you may heal their, them, a person that is supposed to be a leader, okay, um, you may have this powerful healing gift and you may be healing this person, you may be helping them, okay, um, but there is going to be a lot of passion inside you, so you need to get all fired up right now, Scorpio, because, you know, Whatever this is that is coming in, whoever this person is that's coming in, uh, is somebody that you're going to be spending the rest of your life with, okay? Um, so, you know, manifest. I feel like you and this person are going to travel together. I feel like you're going places together. I feel like this person is also going to support you in the business that you want to do or the venture you want to do, you know? And I feel like that this person will show you that you can trust them. Because you've lost a lot of trust, Scorpio. You've lost a lot of, um, you know, trust in the people that, that have been close to you, that have hurt you, uh, and for no reason. And some of it could be just jealousy for some stupid reason. Um, because I don't feel that you, you don't do anything. You're just being you, Scorpio, you know. And um, maybe they're just jealous how people gravitate towards you or how... People just are drawn to you, you know, and why isn't it happening to them? Okay. Anyway, Scorpio, spread your wings, honey. Just spread your wings, okay, because you're flying, all right? You're going to show the world what you're made of. You're going to prove yourself, Scorpio. Tired of people putting you down. You're, you're a very gentle, gentle soul. And like I said, you don't like going into that dark energy but if you have to protect yourself, Scorpio, you will. You will, okay? And not only you, but your spirit guides are not going to allow this person or anybody they're connected to to come back towards you, Scorpio. So honour your gentleness and speak with words of love, okay? Forgive this person. Forgive them, okay? They've got their own troubles and, you know, just let them be. Let them be. Just move on. Look forward to this new person that is coming into your life. Right. Yeah, they've been gone for a long period of time anyway, Scorpio. You know, whatever they're planning, they're taking too long. By the time they come back, you'll already have somebody else in your life, Scorpio. Okay. This person had choices. They are mentally tied and trapped somewhere. Somewhere where they're not happy at all. They're not happy. They're not sleeping. They're not happy. They have lots of regrets that they didn't have a brand new beginning with you when they had an opportunity to, right? You know, they, they regret even the choice of the other third party. That is the biggest regret that they're having, okay? They, they don't... They will never find that connection with you, Scorpio. You're on your way to success. This person from your past is possibly married with the Hierophant or they they got together with somebody who was married. And that's the truth that has come out, Scorpio. You found out the truth about this King of Wands energy. Your victory, Scorpio, is that you're moving on to somebody who's going to give you an equal give and take, a brand new love that is coming in for you, Scorpio. The cards don't lie. That is going to be your victory, and this person will stay in this repeated pattern and have a lot of regrets, okay? I feel like this person has probably written out a text message, but they haven't sent it to you, Scorpio. They just don't know. They're waiting for 
Maybe they're watching your social media waiting for the right opportunity, okay? But you already know. You already know about the secrets. Something got revealed to you that hurt you. And that's why you walked. You ended a cycle, okay? You ended the cycle. You went into your high priestess energy, Scorpio. Okay, and even though that you felt that you were at a crossroad, um, you know, that you weren't really sure, should I walk away, should I not walk away, you blocked this person, Scorpio. Okay, and if you haven't, we're going to. You're realizing this is too much hard work. This is not what I want. This is not what I'm looking for. This person is too controlling. Okay, um, I feel that they want to come in eventually and give you an apology. Okay, maybe make you an offer. They want happiness again with you, Scorpio. They will eventually come back when their money is replenished, okay? You're coming in as single and available, Scorpio, okay? Um, but you, you can't seem to forget. You might forgive this person, but you can't seem to forget how they left you out in the cold, all right? And they left you at a time of need too, Scorpio, where you needed this connection, you needed this love in your life, okay? But you are going to find it with the Nine of Cups. Justice is going to be in your favour, Scorpio, okay? I can't tell you what the star sign is that's coming in. Um, but what I do know is that this person is very grounded. Um, they may be a little bit older than you. Um, they have their, their ducks in a row. I, I was torn between love and stability, really. <laughs> I stare at your picture. I'm telling you, this person is on your, on your page. I'm trying to be a better person. I was hiding my true feelings for, from you, okay? You left me when I needed you most. I, I said that, yeah? All right. What else would this person want to say or the conversation? I don't think you're interested anymore, Scorpio. I feel like that, you know, enough is enough. How long, how long is this cycle going to continue for you, okay? Why is everybody else able to um, find the connection and, and you can't? And it's because you're special. I, I've got no, nothing else to tell you other than uh, you're you're gifted. You you are very well protected. You are going to be in a higher realm than most uh, other people that you know. Okay, and your spirit guides. They're amazing. They are amazing people, and uh, you got to trust that they know what they're doing. Okay. Maybe the lesson is that this person has to lose you. To, to find their direction, okay? So, because I do see this person that is coming, he is coming, or she is coming back, okay? Maybe they have to lose you to, to wake up and realise that uh, they had a purpose with you and uh, it feels like unfinished business, to be honest with you, Scorpio, but uh, there is this other person that's coming in that, you know, Really, you don't want to lose this other person, okay? All right, so I miss, I miss the passion between us. So you need to be careful this person doesn't come back and just wants to have sex with you because if they haven't got rid of those other parties, don't you dare go anywhere near them, Scorpio. I left before you could leave me. Hmm. Were you going to leave them? I don't think so. I don't think you would, Scorpio. You're not like that. You're a conversationist. You're, you know, if this was the case that you wanted to leave this person, you would have had a conversation with them. You wouldn't have just walked out, shut the door, ghosted them. That's not you, Scorpio, okay? I listen to music, so I don't think of you. So you're constantly on this person's mind, Scorpio, okay? Um, you know, I feel like that they're always doing something, so they don't think of you, but when they go to bed, um, you know, you're on their mind, or if not in their dreams. I saw you with her, but you didn't see me. You saw them, Scorpio. So if this person comes back and wants to feed you some bullshit, don't miss them. 
do not listen. Okay? You're smarter than that, Scorpio. You went and got your proof. Whatever the last conversation you had with this person too, Scorpio, um, that in itself, that conversation that you had with this person, um, there was a lot of sneaky behaviour in that conversation. A lot of sneaky behaviour, okay? Guarantee you didn't hear from this person again after that phone call or after that message. They were seeking information. They were trying to cover tracks, but they know they can't lie to you, Scorpio. They haven't finished with that third party, okay? And I feel like that third party has been trying to get in contact with you. So you've blocked that third party. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You just want to stay in peace. I should have known better. I'll just get you a few more, Scorpio. Let's see if they pop out on their own. What else do you have to tell Scorpio to? Probably nothing else. I think you know everything now. This person has abandonment issues, okay? That's why they leave before anybody else. I drive past your house. I have a lot to lose and a lot to gain. I light a candle and pray for your for you every night. It doesn't feel the same with others. I'm telling you, they can't find this connection because it was spiritually guided, this connection. It was, you know, you were brought together for a reason and this person is, is so stupid. Yeah, they want another day or night with you. It's not happening. Maybe, maybe a few months ago if they did, you know, I'm committed to somebody else. They're committed to somebody else, but they also have a third party. Yeah. I stay away from places that I may run into you. I feel that's you, Scorpio. You don't like confrontation, okay? Confrontation is, doesn't sit well with you, especially in public, okay? And I'm going to tell you something, Scorpio. You don't want to be with a person that doesn't fight for you. You don't want to be with a person that doesn't run to save uh, a connection, okay? Uh, this person went towards greed, finances, stability, um, you know, dark energies, people that pretended to be something that they're not, all right? The, the kind of crowd that, that they, they're not family, okay? They're, this is a different, different crowd. This person needs to... Um, go back and look at their life okay they need to put the piece the missing pieces together to to what he, you know the the whole story of their life it, it is a story okay it is like the fool's journey in the tarot and they need to you know i think you were trying to um, possibly help them to remember something okay uh, because you do have past life and you know, you know, but they don't. I look for you and others. You're never going to find that person in others. This was a connection that um, cannot be, you know, found. It's a very rare connection, okay? Because, Scorpio, you know, when, you, when you feel that connection with somebody else, you, you put a lot of energy, a lot of, you know, spiritual, um, you know, sexual, spiritual stuff. I don't know what you do exactly, but, you know, whatever you do, it's not like you're playing that. Your body just accepts. Your body um, knows who the other party is. You've had partners before, Scorpio. You've never done this, okay? This was different, and you know it. You know it, Scorpio, okay? So I don't know whether this person is going to fix their attitude whether they come back to you in time or not. But there is somebody else that is coming in. I am trapped, but I am going to set myself free. Mm. What did I say? Are they going to come back in time, Scorpio? Okay. 
I miss our conversations. You see, you were guiding them. You, you gave too much, too much to this person, Scorpio, okay? Look at that. I know how much sacrifice you made for me. How much you sacrificed for me. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to open up anymore. This person knows. They know what they did wrong. They're trying to hide by portraying that they're having this wonderful life and that they are miserable in the home that they live in. Okay? They're going to have to come to some sort of decision eventually uh, because I can tell you now that whoever the woman is that they're committed to, she's not going to put up with any more shit. Everybody has their limits, Scorpio, and so does this woman. I think she hung on to this person for as long as she could. Uh, and I, I can tell you that she gave a lot to this person, more than what they deserved. And yet they treat her like that, okay? And yet even when you left, think, and they're telling you they're going back to fix their marriage, they never went back to fix their marriage. They went towards some other putana, is the word, okay? If you know what that means. <laughs> I have to say it in a different language so YouTube doesn't cut me off. Anyway, Scorpio, You've got a lot of blessings coming your way. If you want to start a side hustle or if you've got a business that you want to do or there's an idea in your head, go for it, Scorpio. Do not let anybody tell you that you can't make it. I think everybody thought that, um, for some of you who already have started, thought that you would never achieve this goal and you're going to achieve it because you already have started to achieve it. You're going to be very well known for what you do. And you're going to be able to look down on these people and say, oh, when I asked you to join me, you didn't want to join me. So, sorry, I will keep the blessings. Thank you very much. All right, Scorpio. I wish you all the best and good luck on your journey. And, you know, claim this reading, Scorpio, because you deserve it. Enough with the fuckery, Scorpio. Enough with the fuckery. All right. God bless you, Scorpio. See you next time.